Okay, welcome back. It is day 221. Um, I messed up yesterday. As pointed out by someone, um, it was not 219 yesterday. So, yeah. Um, anyways, was back in lab today, again, weekday. Um, it was, okay. Yeah, there's, there's like... I don't, I don't even know, like, where I can say, like, I, I hate this synthetic, like, gener generating channel state information thing, because it's, like, like, the data that I'm generating for this, these Wi-Fi, like, signal propagations using ray tracing, it looks fine on the graph, but I have no idea if this is actually what it's supposed to look like. Like, I, I mean, I can look at stuff, and it's, like, None of them, I, I haven't really found stuff that really looks like a nice, I mean, all the, the thing is, is all the graphs that I've seen have so much noise. And it's just like, I guess I could just add a bunch of random noise. Um, but I don't know. And also, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be so much variation, not so much variation, I shouldn't say that, but there should be a good amount of variation between subcarriers on the, you know, uh, around um, a transmitted frequency. And they're all the exact same, just like off by like a little bit. It's literally, it, no, it's literally if I'm at like 5.32 gigahertz, I don't know if that's the, I, I just started networking stuff. So I, terminology is all new to me. Um, but if it's sent out at that frequency and then we have bands on below that and above that, like say 14, ideally each of them takes, they get, they get dispersed at the same rate but then when they hit and collide with stuff they're like absorption and their reflection and all this stuff changes um but it's not really reflecting that it, the only thing that's really being like reflected is like oh yeah these subcarriers are giving a total of lower amplitude um and i don't know really how to change that um also kind of i, I don't i yeah, I don't know. I, I implemented something that I think is pretty good, which is like I'm caching all my rays now. So it's like if I'm shooting a thousand rays and, you know, 800 of them are not even close to the character, instead of doing the calculation on those entirely again, they're just cached. So at least that was kind of an improvement. But I started model training today um, with a um, um, just a, like a deep learning um, training on i did two different variations one was like a two-step process of looking at movement versus standing still and then differentiating after that that one was like 70 percent accuracy not even i think it was like 68 or something like that um and then that, the other way i did was like i mean it was just not a two-step i don't know why i'm forgetting the exact like actual model that i used but um yeah, I need to, I think I need to go back and look at the data. I, I don't think it's a model problem because the model is pretty, I don't know, set in stone. It's just, I need to like, I need to look at the data and make sure that I'm collecting the right stuff. Um, So yeah, that's something I'm going to be battling tomorrow. And hopefully, I mean, it'd be amazing tomorrow to be able to do actual, my full like data collection, but I don't know. Um. As for lead code, again, did an easy because it's 2 a.m. right now and I just want to go to bed. Um, so, yeah, I did an easy lead code, which was given an array, find all of the um, odd length subarrays, and then just sum them up. So I just did like a window size, started at one, which is the first odd window, and I just slide through up until up until length minus the window size minus <laughs> minus one um because just keeping it window size was cutting off the last element um on all those subarrays so it just takes the window and then slides through and just it's a sum and adds it to total sum so i mean very simple lead code so yeah um that's all i got um i will see you tomorrow for day 222 um, take care and yeah, goodbye.